and Keta, a young business tycoon, Dr. Emmanuel Kojo Jones Mensa, is very confident at winning the primaries and become the MP of the Qatar constituency. Dr. Kojo Jones Mensa believes he is the seventh leader of Keta constituency and has outlined his many developmental projects for the constituency besides the ones he has already started. Dr. Kojo Mensa has been speaking to join News after filing at the Keta constituency. I have successfully filed my nomination forms and um, we are looking forward to intensifying the campaign and the party gives us the help to do so. We are hoping that the good people of Keta would believe that their servant leader is indeed a focus to his mentor. Like I said, I used a word which is service, a servant leader to the people, someone who is going to be there for the people, someone who is going to unite the base of the party, someone who is going to bring development in terms of human capital development and social capital development, and someone who is, someone who is going to be there for the delegates, the executives, make sure that the welfare of the executives are paramount to moving the constituency forward. And these are the three areas that Apple Kojo will be concentrating on. Unity, development and welfare. Well, yes, I mean, the welfare is a very broad umbrella. Women are, you know, part of that. And as you, if you follow my story closely and you follow my intervention, you know that women empowerment is something that I do personally under my foundation. So we are looking forward to empowering the women in this constituency. Give them a representation and give them a voice. Know that we care for them and we are ready to work for them. Well, there, there's a lot, a lot of work to do. As we were walking down to the party office, we could see the state of our roads, very terrible state. We want to make sure that that is fixed. We want to make sure that we give the right education that we have to give to our people. We need to improve healthcare in the Keta constituency. And above all, we need to boost tourism because that's what can generate economic activity for our people here. Meanwhile, two of the many delegates throwing their support at him said he has about 80% chances of winning the primaries. They have been speaking to join you, Sassu. I think uh, the chances of the uh, effort is very bad. Uh, more of the delegates have seen what Epoch Kodu has done so far. When we get to the depressed areas like Laoshima and Anyako and the places, you see that he brought Anyako, like he brought water to the Anyako people, some of the Anyako people. That is uh, Anyako Kota. When he get to Laoshima, it's a depressed area. And when he get there, there is a road linking to, uh, Hatogodo and Laoshima. That bridge has broken down for some years now. And nothing has been done about it. But when he comes and we told him about the bridge, he, he, he immediately got there and got the bridge fixed. As we are speaking now, almost 90 or 95 percent of the bridge is almost done. His chances of winning, I think now delegates want people who can do something. You see those days that you are voting, you, so, so you see somebody on poster or you see somebody trying to contest for uh, an MP, like the person who just posts a picture and be laughing and be doing all sorts of those things and said vote for me. I think delegates are not awake. We don't want those things again. We want somebody that can develop Keta going 20 hours. So that is what we want. For example, Foko Joe has done a lot of roads at Abeji. He's reshaping the road at Abeji. More of the things that he's doing, we think he's the one that we can send to do their job for us. That's why we, some of the delegates, and the majority of the delegates are behind Foko Joe to champion Keta Constituency. The delegates in Keta Constituency. The chances of Ofo Kojo winning the election is about 80%. I said 80% because looking at what Oku Jeto Abulako has an example, being one of the best MPs in Ghana has done for the people of North Town, we have seen that maximum capability in Ofo Kojo and he's bringing the same aspect of it to Kata constituency. And the delegate about 90 or 80 to 90 are in support of his bid to become the PC for Kata constituency. Uh, we are in highly support of it. Looking at, for example, looking at the Hatokoto Bridge that my, my brother has, said, has, has even complained about, has been there for so many years before I was born. When you go to the area, you will see that uh, uh, the bridge is in, is in a state where when, 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 the, when the pregnant woman is coming, uh, when the, someone is in labor and they are bringing the person to the hospital, it becomes so difficult 
for the person to cross the bridge to the nearby hospital for, for the person for her to deliver. But when the Fokodo hear the crowd of the people, he went there to fix a he's, he's fixing a bridge for them where it uh, uh, Abubuya uh, can pass through it and can six or eight people at a go. If Dr. Kojo Jones Mensa wins the primaries, he becomes the youngest in Keta to ever make it successful and the incumbent MP Kwame Jujolika becomes the second MP to become a one term and let's see how it turns out. I've resettled you for Joy News. Keta. <laughs> Thank you.